here's a little video about QList properties. Uh, QList properties are where we set all of the settings uh, which have to do with how a QList is going to act. Uh, dependent on the type of QList, uh, we might have different areas of this open up and be available to us. Uh, but we can get started with a standard QList and see what's available to us. So uh, first off, we can name it. So standard QList. Uh, we can give comments. So uh, main list. Again, this is just notes for, for you as, a, uh, as an operator. Um, <coughs> Automatic queue numbering, basically, if we put a new queue in, uh, it'll be numbered three. You know, uh, happy to leave on. Uh, we can hide a queue list. So uh, as we get into more advanced type of programming, uh, you might have a queue list which contains queues which you'll never need to see, but they, they are acted upon by other queues within other lists. So at that point, we can actually hide it in show mode so it doesn't become part of our UI. Um, Default fade out, so within a queue list, uh, like I could with a show and setting a default fade out for a show, I can also within a queue list uh, set a default fade out length. So if I've got a queue list containing all musics, I can set a default stop fade out, which is longer and, and a bit more forgiving than something I would do with maybe spot effects. Um, default interaction rules, so just like in the show properties where are the queue properties where I can determine uh, rules, I can also determine a, a generic set of rules for a queue list. Um, for specific examples on interaction rules, please have a look at the interaction rules video. So down at the bottom here, I also have audio output slot. So this brings up the idea of the fact that we have obviously got multiple outputs for Ovation. Um, and by default, uh, when we play a cue, and again, I'll just do this in show mode so we can see what's going on here. So if I play a cue, uh, I'll play a piece of audio, we can see it coming out of one and two. So I can, of course, switch this into cue properties, which we can see in the cue properties video, but I can also set a default for an entire cue list. So here I can say, actually, I want this entire cue list to come out of slot three and four, so three and whatever else. So now it's coming out of three. So now whenever I place information into this cue list, I very easily get uh, my audio where I want it to go. So I can have a cue list for music, a cue list for spot effects, a cue list for so on and so forth, and it will arrange itself as necessary. It becomes very fast to use. So um, the next type of queue list, which has different settings within it, is the timed queue list. So popping into here, I can see that I, my timed queue list area is opened up. And first one, it asks, do I want to chase this queue list? So I can choose to manually fire it when I want to, or I can allow it to chase to either the show time or any uh, time code input. So I can also set the timed mode uh, to pause or stop queues dependent on whether or not uh, the time code is running. Um, by default, it's set to yes, because the normal mode would be if we stop the timed queue list or pause it, then it would pause the queues within it uh, and then let them go again when, the, when it starts back up. Um, but of course, this can be set to allow them to free run after they've been started. This also allows me to, uh, with a timed queue list, to set uh, a time code generation output. So just like in the show properties where I can generate a generic time code for the show, I can also generate uh, a separate time code based on the timed queue list itself, uh, which allows me then to send freeze code, uh, turn off the time code or free roll the time code when I pause. Um, and again, the same for stop modes and go to's when I'm, I'm on ready. So on ready, this means uh, the initialized show mode that we can click it down at the bottom here. Hotkeys have a couple of uh, other uh, settings which are quite handy. Um, the first one is the number of columns. So that automatically sizes it dependent on what I'm doing here. But I can also hard set it. So I can say, no, I want to have four. Uh, and even if they get bigger, they get bigger, and they get smaller, they get smaller. So you can do whatever you want there, and just set it back to auto, nice and simple. So finally, with the custom queue list, uh, we have the ability to set uh, the grid size. So if I just go into configuration mode here, um, I can set the grid to which I uh, work to. So if I set this to quite a large grid, then the locking 
is quite a bit less um, fine. Yeah, but I can then set it to this, and I can very easily move them around and maybe make a. Uh, closer connections and buttons that hang out uh, closer to each other. So you have that available to you. Anyway, that's the Q list properties.